We are out at Station 8. They call themselves the Downtown Heat. It's really important today to honor our local heroes, and it has been a pleasure to be out here. As you had mentioned, today is a day for all Americans to have a national day of service and remembrance. So if you're encouraged to volunteer in your local community in tribute to the individuals lost and injured in the attacks, first responders, and the many who have risen in service to defend freedom. So I ask all of you out there, how will you make a day of mourning into a moment to serve and support your community? Well, one way you could do it, you could go to the Houston Food Bank. Each year, the Houston Food Bank holds a 9-11 Day of Remembrance. This year, they will be working with 9-11 tomorrow together to participate in a virtual day of service. You can fundraise virtually or do a virtual food drive. You can also make a donation by texting 9-11 Day to 41444. And if you would like a hands-on service, they are also having volunteer shifts at the food bank from now until noon, 1 p.m. until 4 p.m and six to nine tonight. Just go to their website to sign up for a shift. Meanwhile, the Astros Foundation is helping host an emergency supply drive for those impacted by Hurricane Laura. It's happening tomorrow at Minute Maid Park from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. The emergency items donated will go directly to the Catholic Charities of Lake Charles and will be distributed to community members. So here's what they need. Diapers and wipes, hygiene products, cleaning supplies, pet food, and air mattresses. Really important to note, these must be new items. This is also a no-touch drive, so drop off donations curbside on Crawford Street at the left field entrance. Here's the great thing as a thank you. Each donor will receive a Jose Altuve shooting star jersey until they run out. So get out there early and donate. And Friendly Faces Senior Care is hosting a relief drive for seniors impacted by Hurricane Laura. It's happening today through September 15th. They do have drop-off locations at senior living facilities in Pearland, Richmond, and Webster. They are asking for non-perishable foods, clothing, face masks, hand sanitizer, first aid supplies, toiletries, cleaning supplies, and you can also visit their website for more. And after nearly 100 animals were rescued in the Lake Charles area after Hurricane Laura, there are tons of cats and kittens ready for our new forever home. The, they have more than 50 of those cats, like the one you see here, four-year-old Sanaya. The Houston SPCA has extended its two-for-one felines for $20 special. Potential cat and kitten adopters should email info at HoustonSPCA.org with their contact information, including a phone number. In the meantime, visit their website for all of the available pets up for adoption. And that is a look at what is happening here in Houston. And coming up shortly, stay tuned because I'm going to be suiting up in fire gear. It weighs nearly 60 pounds. So I'm ready for that and to see how hot it is in this Houston heat. In the meantime, reporting CW39 Houston, no wait, weather and traffic.